Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. This is my ninth attempt at recording this video, so that's how my day is going. I hope that your day is a little bit less challenging than mine, at the very least. But still, I'm happy that you're here and I'm gonna get it done. Ninth time is the charm. This one's gonna be perfect, so thank you for being here. I'm gonna talk just very quickly about when meeting your own needs, when self-care causes conflict in relationships, and this does happen. Um, I know that it may sound counterintuitive, but we live in an age when I think people, we're more connected than ever, but because of that, people expect to have instant gratification. So they expect to have instant responses. So this was my experience this week. I took a couple days off earlier in the week and I'm calling them blackout days and maybe I should copyright that, I don't know. Um, I turned all the lights off in, in our home. I closed the blinds. I turned off my computer. I turned off the TV. I turned off my phone and I just sat. I have a great big chair. It's called a chair and a half. It's my favorite place to sit in the apartment because I can kind of sit in it and curl up my legs and um, read a book and put a blanket on me. And so that's what I did. I read two books, um, didn't talk to anybody, uh, took some baths. And this was just something that I f have been feeling like for a while I needed. I was experiencing physical symptoms of dehydration and exhaustion. Um, I thought that I had um, torn a muscle in my foot. I wasn't sleeping at night, and I mean I was pulling all-nighters. I was up all day and then all night for two or three days, so um, I was really grumpy. <laughs> I was not just a little bit grumpy. I was biting people's heads off. Um, there were a lot of things that went into it, and when I, when I stepped back and look at, looked at my, my behaviors, I, I realized, well, okay, went to the gym kind of a lot this week, didn't drink much water, um, answering every call and every text message, didn't get your own work done, so that's frustrating. So there were things that I was doing that were not healthy, mentally or physically, and I needed to take a step back and sort of take inventory and take a break. And that break was glorious. And because of that break, I was able to sleep again. Hallelujah. Because <laughs> Lord knows what, what would have happened on four days of, four days straight of all day up and all night up. I, Lord only knows, okay? I don't even want to speculate. Um, but I'm very happy to report that after that first blackout day, I did sleep very well, um, which goes to show that, that there's something to it. Um, but I had people in my life who sort of took it personally um, when I was not texting and, and not messaging back and, and saying, you know, hey, I'm just taking some quiet time. Um, and I want to encourage you today that if you've had this experience, if you are having this experience, or if you are afraid of having this experience, if you're, if you're afraid of taking a break for yourself because you're afraid of what that means for somebody else, you need to take a break for yourself. Now is probably the time. I put a lot of pressure on myself to be there for other people, to be available for other people, and that is part of why I was so stressed out. We need boundaries, and I say this all the time and I'm terrible at them, and so that's what I'm working on now in regards to my relationships with other people. I'm setting up some work hours for myself because as a creative person, I write, I do the YouTube, I have a podcast. I, I have a more flexible day than other people, that's true. But that doesn't mean that you can call me at any time or text me at any time and expect me to respond in that moment because my work is important and usually in creative work, there is a flow to it. So I need to be able to work unencumbered and uninterrupted. So I've created for myself a little schedule. I'm gonna hold it back from the camera because it's so messy. Um, but it's just got, you know, some things that I'll be doing every day. And this is for myself so that I don't get overwhelmed. Um, Monday is a blackout day because I'm going to incorporate that into my week now. Um, but the, the other part of that that has to do with other people is that being able to say, well, I am working from the hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can contact me outside of those hours um, and I'll be available for you. And so that's what I have started to do and that's what I have started to implement. And the important thing to realize that I realized for myself was that it's not fair to blame the other person for what feels like overstepping or what feels like them maybe not being considerate if that's how a relationship has always been, if that's how I've always allowed it to be. Um, this person probably is not inconsiderate. They're just not thinking about it or looking at it like I am. 
They probably, it's not that they think my work is not important, it's that I've always answered the phone before when they called. So I am trying to take a step back and establish a different routine um, and take personal responsibility and accountability for, for those things that I have helped to create. Um, I'm a highly sensitive person, as I think some of you are um, who watch this channel. So we talked about, you know, the bright lights and the noise and the smells. It gets to be too much. And if you are also, then I highly recommend taking a step back at least one day a week and work, working on self-care, focusing on self-care. Get a pedicure if that's what you like. I really don't personally like that. Um, get a massage. Take a hot shower. Take a bath. Take a nap. Read a book. I love books. Um, and I don't get to read them often enough because I'm focusing too much on the other things and putting a lot of pressure on myself. So the last thing I want to say very quickly is that it's important to understand that life is happening right now. And there's a Ferris Bueller quote that I'm going to paraphrase because I don't have it written down, but most of you know, at the end of the movie, he says, life happens pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you might miss it. Some people hear that and they think, oh, life is happening right now. I've only got this limited amount of time. I need to work more. I need to work out more. I need to be productive. That's not at all what I hear. What this means to me and why I mention it now, the life happening right now and life happens pretty fast, is that now is the time to read that book that you've been putting off for three months. Now is the time to learn how to bake that pastry. Now is the time to figure out how to braid your hair like you've always wanted to. Now is the time to travel. Now is the time to call your grandmother. Don't get so wrapped up in the things that don't matter that you're not taking any time for the things that really do. These for me are the quality things that make a life worth living and I wasn't doing any of them. I wasn't doing any of them. I just, that's profound for me. I wasn't doing any of the things that make life worth living and my mind was telling me and my spirit was telling me and my physical body was telling me you need to stop and take a break so I did that and everybody in my life is okay <laughs> everybody survived all my friendships survived all my family relationships survived my kids are fine everything is good so I want you to be encouraged today that if you are feeling overwhelmed and you feel like the people around you won't survive if you take a break, that's not true, they will. And if you feel like they'll be mad at you, well, they might be, but they'll get over it, okay? Your self-care and your mental health ought to be priority for you. And as you establish those boundaries and make that important for you and schedule your days and create routine, other people will follow in behind you. Okay, but it's you that has to change those things first. And I promise that they will, most people will respect those things that you need in order to be okay because they love you, they care about you, they respect you. Okay, the ones that don't, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, you can't, can't please everybody, but you need to take care of yourself. So if you, like me, have been overworking yourself in all areas and you're starting to have physical symptoms, mental symptoms, if you are um, not sleeping at night and insomnia is not something you normally deal with, if you're having headaches, if your muscles are cramping, if you are grumpy and biting everybody's heads off, this is a big symptom for me because I'm not normally like that. It means you need to take a step back. And I just want you to know that nothing will break when you do that, okay? Take care of yourself first and those relationships will start, they'll so, bleh, those relationships will fall into line um, everything will be okay. The world will not fall down uh, and you'll be a better person for it. So thank you for watching this video. I think I got kind of off center, off uh, subject um, 87 times, but um, ninth time is the charm. I love you. Live in courage. Bye-bye.